To graph exponential functions, we're going to find that's very useful to understand what some of the different transformations that are active here can do. We've done transformations before, and it's a great way to take a graph that we're familiar with and transform it into a graph that we're unsure about. So there's a whole listing that you can also find elsewhere of all the different types of transformations. We can vertically shift our functions up and down. We can horizontally shift our graphs left to right. We could reflect our graphs about the x-axis or the y-axis. We also have some or vertical stretching or shrinking with our graphs. And then we also have some horizontal shrinking or stretching of our graphs as well. So let's keep these in mind and let's go th work through a couple of examples here. So imagine that we have some f of x equals 3x as our base graph. So let's, t let's t um, plot some test points just to see where that graph lies. Negative 3, uh, 1 over 1 27th. Show some test points, enough to go ahead and draw a rough sketch of what the graph looks like. We got some negative points, uh, some positive, so let's go ahead and one. Point negative three and one twenty seventh. Probably shouldn't have chose threes there. Those are too small or too large to graph on this little one. So let's look at negative two. Negative two is one ninth. Negative one is one third. I gotta do that blue. I can't even see them at all. Let's try again. Yeah, much better, right? Uh, zero is at one, which is cool. Every exponential function goes to the point zero and one. One and three hops up, tipping point was found, two and nine. So we have an airplane taking off. It's taking off at a rate of three, or that's the base flight path on an exponential takeoff pattern right there. So how do we use that then to determine what our graph over here will look like? Well, let's draw our basic What do we know about this particular type of a uh, transformation? Notice that the change happens within the exponent. So what it looks like I have is I have a vertical, or sorry, a horizontal shift left or right. I'm adding a one to it. So I'm gonna take my entire graph and shift it to the left one spot, which is that one right there. So rather than, let's look at this point, rather than zero one, I have the point negative one and one. Rather than the point one and three, I have the point zero and three. Uh, this point becomes one and nine. And then likewise, work it on the way out. So if I could draw it all, notice that I have the exact same graph. Well, I tried to, and the exact same graph is shifted over one spot to the left. So. That's how we use transformations to model some graphs that are shifting left to right.